The greatest player to ever play for the Dallas Mavericks in franchise history is... The Dallas Mavericks have been a part of the NBA for over 40 years and have undergone their fair share of peaks and valleys along the way. The past two decades have proven the most fruitful period in franchise history, culminating in a championship ring in 2011. From Don Nelson to Avery Johnson and now under the reign of Rick Carlisle, the Mavs have gone from strength to strength since their inception and early struggles. Many names have come and gone through the American Airlines Center, some more noteworthy than others. And today, we're looking at the top 20 players in Dallas Mavericks franchise history. Coming in at number 20, Detlef Schrempf played 264 games for the Dallas Mavericks between 1985 to 1989. Selected with the eighth overall pick in the NBA draft, Schrempf doesn't just have the fanciest name on this list, he also forged a solid career with the franchise. Schrempf made his name mostly playing elsewhere around the league, but was still a steady contributor during his tenure, averaging 8.3 points and 3.4 rebounds. At number 19, the 2004 NBA draft saw the Dallas Mavericks grab Devin Harris with the fifth overall pick from the Washington Wizards. Luckily, they did, as Harris steadily grew into a serviceable point guard for a long time. Named Rookie of the Month in November 2004, Harris continued to improve in Dallas. In three and a half seasons with the organization, his averages rose from 5.7 points and 2.2 assists to 13.8 points and 5.8 assists. He was eventually dealt in a deal for Jason Kidd, another nice wrinkle to his story as Kidd was excellent for the team as well. Next up at number 18 is Sean Marion, one of the more underrated players in NBA history. The defensive specialist suited up for the Mavs between 2009 and 2014 and was an integral part of their 2011 championship squad. In 285 games with the team, the four-time All-Star averaged double digits in every single season, as well as being the primary defender on the opposition's best scorer on a nightly basis. The Matrix had a few stops during his journey, but the Mavs one was the most successful. Coming in at 17, Jerry Stackhouse was a part of the deal that landed Harris in Dallas and was another nice piece to arrive. Stackhouse seemingly played in the NBA forever, and his longevity was due to his prolific scoring throughout his career. In his five seasons with the Mavericks, his production off the bench was invaluable in surging the team up the Western Conference pecking order. The UNC product chipped in with 12.2 points and 2.6 rebounds, occupying the small forward or shooting guard positions. Dallas's front office has been really good at drafting decent players and shipping them off elsewhere within five years. At number 16, Jamal Mashburn falls into that category too. Mashburn was the fourth pick of the 1993 draft, and throughout 214 games with the Mavericks, he accounted for 19.9 points per game, third best in franchise history. The 6'8 small forward was then shipped to the Miami Heat, and Mashburn eventually made an all-star roster as a member of the New Orleans Hornets. Do you want a chance at winning gift cards, electronics, or free trips? Then make sure to check out the first link in the description. Once you finish watching the whole video, comment below if you agree with our list. Like and share the video as this will increase your chances of winning. We want to reward our most loyal fans. Next up at number 15, Jim Jackson arrived in Dallas in the 1992 draft after the Mavs selected him with the fourth overall pick. He ended up appearing in 289 games for the franchise and was the team's leading scorer in the 1994-95 season, pouring in 25.7 points per night. His 19.6 average while wearing a Mavs uniform ranks sixth best in franchise history and sits at 10th overall with 1,087 dimes next to his name. At number 14, the Mavs traded for James Donaldson in 1985, and he quickly transformed into one of the organization's best ever front court players. Although not mind blowing numbers, his nine points and nine rebounds were there every night during his five years. Donaldson has the second most total rebounds, the third most blocks overall, and the most offensive rebounds in franchise history to this day. Coming in at 13, Jay Vincent specialized in scoring and rebounding during his days with the Mavs. Racing out of the gate, Vincent started his professional career with great promise, earning first-team all-rookie honors in his rookie campaign. He averaged an impressive 21.4 points as a rookie and didn't disappoint as the years went on. His 16.9 points per game stands at the 8th highest, 
and his 6,464 point total is the 10th most by a Dallas player. At number 12, Roy Tarpley was inside the Mavs locker room on two separate occasions, but off-court issues hindered his potential within the league. Tarpley ended up missing three years, and his career was cut short following the league office terminating his contract for violating substance abuse policies multiple times. It's a shame, as Tarpley was excellent during his playing days, winning the Sixth Man of the Year award in 1987-88, averaging 12.6 points per game and rejecting the ninth most shots in franchise history. Next up at number 11, Josh Howard spent a large portion of his professional career in Dallas and improved each and every year. A testament to his work ethic, Howard went from 8.6 points and 5.5 rebounds per contest during the 2003-2004 season to 19.9 points and 7 rebounds in the 2007-2008 campaign. Given his growth on offense, Howard became a go-to guy for the team, resulting in an all-star selection in 2007. Howard departed the organization with the 8th most three-pointers, 9th most points, and 10th most steals for the Mavericks. Uh, is all of this true that I am reading? As far as like players in the league have their problems? Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, I don't think it's nothing that's hidden. I think a lot everybody, like in the media world and the sports world, know that NBA players, you know, do smoke marijuana. Kicking off our top 10 is Sam Perkins, who spent six of his 17 NBA seasons with the Mavs. Perkins was good for 14 points and eight rebounds per game for the team, earning all rookie first team honors and making his mark on the franchise record books ranking 3rd in total rebounds, 8th in points, 6th in blocks, and ninth in steals. We're getting serious now on the all-time talent list, with legendary point guard Steve Nash coming in at number 9. Nash didn't have his best days in Dallas, but was still outstanding during his tenure. He mostly came off the bench in a limited role during his rookie and sophomore seasons, but evolved into an excellent shooter and passer during that growth period. His best statistical year was the 2001-2002 season, in which he averaged 17.9 points and 7.7 .7 assists, but he would soon find himself in Phoenix, where he won back-to-back -back MVP awards. Turning back the clock slightly, we have Brad Davis at number 8. Davis spent his final 12 years in a Mavericks uniform and had a unique skill set that kept him with the team for an extended period. The University of Maryland product was never a high-volume scorer, but his ability to pass the ball and play the passing lane grew him as a consistent role player. A key part of a team that clinched five consecutive playoff berths, Davis stacked up the second most assists and sixth most steals in Mavs history. Next up at number seven, Jason Terry's elite shooting established his reputation as a three-point marksman on the back end of his career with the Mavericks. Terry ranks sixth on the all-time Dallas scoring list, has the fifth most steals, and dished out the seventh most dimes. The winner of the 2008-2009 Sixth Man of the Year Award, Terry's most memorable moment was in fact something he did away from the floor by getting a tattoo of the NBA Championship trophy in the offseason before the Mavs had even won the title in 2011. Told Coach, I'm serious, baby. We're going to win it all this year. Right here. I got a tattoo to prove it. Coming in at number six, Another all-time great point guard on this list is Jason Kidd, who excelled in all aspects of the game during his playing days. Kidd returned to the Mavs in 2008 after a two-year stint in the mid-90s, becoming a central piece in the 2011 championship team. Along with his ring, Kidd was named Rookie of the Year and appeared in two All-Star games during his time in Dallas. Our top five starts with Michael Finley another player that is underappreciated when looking back in NBA history. Finley was a high-level scorer at his best and recorded 12,389 points while wearing a Mavs uniform, the fifth most all-time. He logged an incredible 24,878 minutes in Dallas, earning him two All-Star selections along the way. Next up at number four, Derek Harper is another individual who had two separate stints for the Mavs. He spent 10 and a half seasons in Dallas and became the franchise's all-time leader in assists with over 5,000 to go along with the fourth most points as well. The six foot four guard also registered 1,551 steals, which was the most in Mavs history and highlighted his defensive prowess, 
en route to two NBA All-Defensive Team selections. Coming in at number three, Rolando Blackman starred in the early years of the Mavericks' success, becoming one of the better shooters in franchise history. He played 11 full seasons in a Mavericks uniform, converting on 49.7% of his attempts for 19.2 points per game. The 6'6 shooting guard ranks favorably on most Mavs all-time lists, made four all-star appearances, and was a member of the organization's first six playoff teams. At number two, Mark Aguirre is another old-timer who played a key role in the Mavs' ascendance into relevancy. A teammate of Blackman's, Mark Aguirre was one of the Mavericks' first great players, and he is just one spot away from being the best in franchise history. Aguirre never averaged fewer than 22.4 points per game and was a three-time All-Star during his time in Dallas. Aguirre dropped 13,930 points, dished 2,163 assists, and had 502 steals, each of which ranks in the franchise's top 10 list. Finally, at number one, there is no question German superstar Dirk Nowitzki is the greatest player in Dallas Mavericks history. Nowitzki changed the foundation of professional basketball as a truly elite shooter from the front court and became one of the greatest scorers the league has ever seen. A career 20.7 points and 7.5 rebounds per night, Nowitzki spent every single one of his 21 NBA seasons with the franchise. A pillar for the organization and paving the way for other international-born players, Nowitzki changed the game forever. He was selected to 12 All-NBA teams, was an 11-time All-Star, an MVP winner in 2007, and an NBA champion and finals MVP in 2011. Who's your favorite Mavs player of all time? Remember to comment down below, then check out the link in our description. We can't wait for you to start winning these awesome prizes. Keep watching our videos, because there's always more and more prizes to win. The more you watch, the higher chances of winning you have.